Let's denote the given cubic equation by 1. And let's assume that the three roots of this equation are x1, x2 and x3. Therefore, the sum of the roots x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to minus of minus a which is equal to a. The sum of the roots taken two at a time x1 x2 plus x1 x3 plus x2 x3 is equal to b and the product of the roots x1 x2 x3 is equal to minus c. Now we need to form an equation whose roots are x1 x2 x1 x3 and x2 x3. Therefore the desired equation is x minus x1 x2 multiplied by x minus x1 x3 multiplied by x minus x2 x3 is equal to 0. Opening up the left hand side we get x minus x1 x2 multiplied by in brackets x square minus in brackets x1 x3 plus x2 x3 multiplied by x plus x1 x2 x3 square is equal to 0. This can be written as x cube minus in brackets x1 x3 plus x2 x3 multiplied by x square plus x1 x2 x3 square multiplied by x minus x1 x2 x square plus in brackets x1 square times x2 times x3 plus x1 x2 square times x3 multiplied by x minus x1 square x2 square x3 square is equal to 0. This can be written as x cube minus in brackets x1 x2 plus x1 x3 plus x2 x3 multiplied by x square plus x1 x2 x3 square plus x1 square x2 x3 plus x1 x2 square x3 multiplied by x minus x1 square x2 square x3 square is equal to 0. This can be written as x cube minus in brackets x1 x2 plus x1 x3 plus x2 x3 multiplied by x square plus x1 x2 x3 multiplied by in brackets x1 plus x2 plus x3 multiplied by x minus x1 x2 x3 whole square is equal to 0. Using the results obtained above, this implies that the desired equation is x cube minus bx square plus minus c times a times x minus minus c whole square is equal to 0, which implies that x cube minus bx square minus acx minus c square is equal to 0. And this is the desired equation.